You know, I'm on the back side of this camera right now, and there's nothing more frustrating than going through an entire process to find out your equipment cracked out on you and stopped recording. So right here, we have a butter mayo. The recipe is that I made right now is one egg, one teaspoon, give or take, a little more, of Dijon mustard, one teaspoon of lemon juice, and one stick of melted butter that's warm, not hot. So you blend that until it's emulsified. You can use a hand mixer or you can use your stick blender, your immersion blender. I used the immersion blender for everything until the very end. Then I added in two tablespoons of hot water so that I could get this texture right here. Now, I know some folks would say, why are you posting this video? when the processes that you just did are gone. And that is because I have two batches of butter mayonnaise and it's something I want to share with everyone, especially since I know right now a lot of people are doing the sardine challenge. And if you uh, get tired of mustard, you know, because it happens even with, uh, you know, I have, I don't know, I think like nine different flavors total of mustard. And sometimes mustard is mustard. The mayonnaise is totally different. Plus, you can use it in other applications. So I'm going to stop this video now. I'm going to come back and show you the difference on how these will set up in the refrigerator. And when you take them out after they've been thoroughly chilled, that they still have a nice spreadable consistency. I'll see you guys shortly. I just want to add one little thing. I want to have a more of a demonstration of how soft this is at this point. So I'm going to pour it from the prep jar into my storage container so you can really see that this, I mean, this is liquid. It's very soft, very runny. And it's important that I at least show you how it is from this stage to the next. All right, folks, so this mayo has been chilling for only about 45 minutes. And you can see this texture. I mean, it can definitely, you know, it's definitely gonna set up more. You can see that it's much thicker on the outside um, and the reason I'm kind of interrupting the chilling of it right now is because I am hungry, I am having some sardines, and I want, <coughs> excuse me, some of this butter mayo on it. So, <coughs> excuse me, this is why. I'm interrupting that chilling process because right now it's actually it's a perfect texture it's thick and creamy and I can just drizzle it I don't want too much but uh, right across those sardines so I'm gonna stop now and we'll come back in a couple of hours when this has really had time to set up thoroughly. All right, folks, welcome back. I know it's only been a matter of seconds for us, but uh, now this has been chilling for three hours, and I have not touched it because I wanted to share the experience with you all at once. So here we go. So look at that. Now, I wish I had some carnivore bread to spread that on to show you it's just, it's absolutely perfect. It's uh, silky. I can, I can feel the drag. Mm. The taste is so good. It is just so good. 
it's not like, you know, traditional mayonnaise. It's not supposed to be. It's butter mayonnaise. And quite frankly, it's better. Um, yes, I'm going to double dip my knife in here, even though I tasted it. Because I'm not sharing it with anyone. Um, but it has a nice little tang from the lemon juice. And you can use vinegar. You can use white vinegar. You could use apple cider vinegar. Whichever. Um, I just like the... The... Um, the zip from the lemon. Um, you can use this, of course, on the sardines. You can, I've used it on uh, deviled eggs. I've used it on sandwiches, you know, using carnivore bread. Um, anything. You could, if you wanted something a little more dirty carnivore, you could use this as a base and add in some other seasonings. You know, spice it up however you like. But there you have it. There is our butter mayonnaise. Um, and I did want to just clarify in the beginning because, you know, that video is missing. Uh, when you are blending this, don't blend, don't dump all the butter at once into the egg. So you emulsify that egg, the, the acid, whether it's the begin vinegar, or the lemon juice and the mustard so you get that going and then you just slowly drizzle in that melted butter get it um, emulsifying and then just keep adding more and more until you have all that butter in if you dump all the butter in at once it usually has a tendency to break and um, only use the egg yolk don't use the egg white I mean, maybe you could use it, use the whole egg. I just never have um, for any of the mayonnaise recipes that I've made. But there you have it. Homemade carnivore butter mayo. Thanks for stopping in, and I'll see you next time.